Hey y'all, today we're going to learn how to sew on appliques to our crochet. Now I find that working with a base of a single crochet or half double crochet works well. I also like to use the same color as my attaching yarn, so the yarn I'm going to sew on appliques with, and using a metal darning needle, so with a nice big eye I find works best. My personal preference when sewing on these particular shapes is to actually work through the back loop only or the loop that's closest to the middle and i prefer to actually sew it on upside down like this or face down so i've taken my threaded darning needle and now i'm holding it upside down and i'm going to insert my hook through the loop that's closest to the middle this is just a demonstration before we actually start sewing it on so you could see the loop that's closest to the middle is where I've insert my hook. Now I'm going to sew up back through the next stitch, also the loop that's closest to the middle. And that is where I sew when I am attaching this to the final piece. So again, this is face down, this is upside down, and it'll look like that when it is attached to the final base. Now the opposite. So I'm going to show you where I like to actually sew into the stitches on the base. We're going to do this as a dry run. So you can see all of the stitches and it actually does not look good if I just sew up and down in between stitches. You can see it from the back. But if I insert my hook through the middle of a stitch in between so I can like pick up some of the front of the stitch and insert my hook just like this and if i pull through even in a contrasting color if i flip it over you cannot see it so instead of sewing up and down in between stitches sew through the middle of the stitches don't go all the way through to the other side and you will have this invisible sewing thread it's going to be amazing now to start, I like to anchor my applique by inserting my needle and sewing through just one of the stitches. All right, so that's what that looks like. And now I'm going to anchor it to the base by just sewing through about where I want it to land. So go through one of the stitches there. And now I'm just going to anchor my appliques. Yep, so that's about where I want it to sit. And now I'm just going to kind of fold up the applique and continue to sew just like we demonstrated. I'm going to sew down through the loop closest to the middle and now sew through part of my base. And again, sew through the loop closest to the middle and sew through a stitch to attach it to the base. So through the middle, attach it to the base and pull it a little tighter. There you go. So you can see that's what it's looking like so far. It's pretty invisible. And I'm just going to continue doing this all the way around until I reach back at the beginning. And when I've reached the beginning, I'm just going to cut my working yarn. There we go. And weave in my ends just like I would with any other crochet project. And now my applique is securely attached. By flipping it so it is face down or upside down on my base color and by working through the loop that's closest to the middle, it's a little bit more discreet. It's easier to have a near seamless join like that and you can't see it from the back at all. It's perfect. My crochet stitches are bunched. You can hardly even know it's there from the back. Now, whatever pattern you're following, your stitches may fall a little bit differently, but if you can try to flip it over so your applique is upside down, I think it can really help to give you that seamless join. But if not, it's not the end of the world. But yeah, I love it. I'm so proud of these. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. I hope you give it a try. 
Don't be afraid of appliques. It's totally okay.